My name is Naomi Chukumaese. I'm your Charged Affair uh, at the Embassy of Nigeria, Stockholm. So, our responsibility covers uh, four countries. Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. And um, I'm here in uh, Finland at the invitation of uh, the coalition of Nigerian groups within Finland here um, to commemorate uh, the 50th anniversary of Nigerian independence. The Golden Jubilee. Uh, did you get through there? Yeah. And um, my advice to Nigerians living in Finland. Now we're talking about people in Finland. Is they would want to hear good news about our people living here. You know, we have attained the majority age now. Actually, that age is referred to in America, they say a senior, you have reached the age of a senior, so you don't expect a senior to be misbehaving, you expect a senior to be a good uh, example to others, the younger people. So, at 50, my advice to Nigerians living in Finland is, or even Nigerians in the diaspora, or Nigerians in general, wherever you find them, is that they should be the ambassadors of their country. Because um, when we don't, it's like shooting yourself in the foot. We're shooting ourselves in the foot because ultimately we are the ones that uh, bear the brunt of uh, our own uh, misbehavior. Everybody's crying, you know, at least decent people complain that wherever you bring out that green cast, it's like an invitation for for you to be searched, for you to be probed. The first thought on the minds of the people who see that most times is that oh, we must check this one out. Maybe he's a criminal. So we need to work hard to get rid of that kind of image for our great country. Nigeria has a great destiny. At least for those of us who pray, we know that God has spoken, that he is going to restore Nigeria. We can still remember the good old days of Nigeria. When we became independent, there was euphoria, there was a lot of hope for the young country. By the time we got into the 70s, everybody knew that there was greatness on this country. We began to bear slogans like the biggest uh, African country. The giant of so Africa. Hmm? The giant of Africa. The giant of Africa, that's correct. That's the expression, you know. And even till today. But then when you, you meet with the Nigerian people, you see the potential. But then when you go to the country, you see different things. Don't quite feel the impact of the greatness. But the potential is there because when our people go out to other places, they actually do very well. It is only when we get back to Nigeria that it seems like we don't seem to be able to get our act together. So we need to work at this image thing. We ourselves must decide that. We will behave ourselves, we will be good examples, we will be role models uh, in whatever country we find ourselves. We shall not be caught on the wrong side of the law. Secondly, each one of us Nigerians need to find our place. There's a place for everybody. If we all decide to put our hands on deck and work, 
using our potentials and gifts to make Nigeria great, I think we can make it. We always blame our leaders, that the leaders are the ones that are leading us astray. But you know, the leader, leadership is a product of the society from where they come. Who helps to make our leaders bad? We contribute to it too. If we decide to be good people, just like our new slogan now, great nation, good people, if we decide, decide to be those good people, I think we can help our leaders to be better leaders. So we must decide. Uh, we must put ourselves aside. This is an advice that I would want to give to all Nigerians. We must put ourselves aside. We are too conscious of ourselves, you know. And um, it translates into selfishness and self so centered. Well done. Nigeria will well say, done. I, me, and myself. A lot of people, that's the way they behave as if they are in this world alone. No. God never created us to serve ourselves. God created us to serve others, serve humanity, serve society. If we decide that we will serve, we live a life of service, which is what God created us for. You serve God first of all, and then you serve people around you. That is the only way that we can become that great people that we want to be. And then great people make a great country. And we can help our country to be great. You see, we must self selfishness aside. For me, well, my philosophy of life is that I want people to treat me. want to treat people the way that I want to be treated. That's my philosophy. If we all decide to live by that, that <coughs> philosophy, I think that um, our society will be the better for it. Not necessarily everything about this. At least if you don't want to treat others as better than yourself, as the Bible says. The least that you can do is, is to treat other people as you want them to treat you. I think if every Nigerian decides to live that way, to live by that philosophy, Nigeria will be a great country. So, these few words, me. That's the way I see our country. God has promised us that He's going to bring greatness to Nigeria, to Africa in general. Actually, Nigeria has a very big part to play in that destiny of greatness. And Nigeria is going to play the key role in the plans of restoration that God has for us. As we enter our jubilee, we are reminded in the Bible, when God talks about jubilee, jubilee is a period of, it's a time of freedom, liberation, as in deliverance. So, <clears throat> it's about time that the people of Nigeria enjoy freedom, the liberty that God has given them. This is a God-given um, right, as in human rights. We need to enjoy it. Our country is, our country is endowed with a lot of resources. We need to distribute to distribute so she doesn't do everything by <coughs> the resources in an egalitarian way. And one of the ways we can do this is simply by living, living not just for yourself, but living for others. 
a great man said that each one of us needs to find out what God has given to us, take what we need and leave the rest for others. The rest is for others. When God blesses you, it's not that everything is for you. He wants you to help others. When Jesus came to this world, he was living like that. He was that perfect example. He didn't live for himself. In fact, the Bible says he never had a house. And he spent all of his time going around from one city, one town, one hamlet, to another, and doing good for people. What was he doing to them? He was healing them, delivering them, feeding them, and teaching them the word of God so that he made them better people. So, <clears throat> God expects us to live selfless, selflessly. And uh, if we are to attain our destiny of greatness, we must live by this dish. So, Nigeria has reached her jubilee now. It's the time when God commanded that slaves should be set free. It's about time that the Nigerian people began to enjoy their freedom. It's about time that they begin rather to enjoy their freedom. And we can only do so if everybody makes up their mind. In the past, the riches, the wealth of this country is enjoyed by few. We are trusting God that the time has come for us to begin to redistribute. Those who have taken more than their fair share should redistribute it. And that we should use what is left of it to invest for future generations. We don't need to eat up everything now. Again, I go to the Bible. I like the Bible. The Bible says that a good man leaves inheritance for his children and for his children's children. We are eating plus the future generation. That's not good. That's to our leaders who go there and want to take everything. We need to invest for future generations. We are leaving debts for them. That's not good. <laughs> Somebody else is carrying load on their head and another person is carrying on to back door. According to an adage in my language. So you need to do some serious thinking. The rebranding that our minister of information is talking about should come from within. We need to rebrand ourselves. Not the branding our image to the outside world. It needs to be from within, such as ourselves. Like Michael Jackson said in the he said, I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Look at your soul and let the change begin from within you. And that goes for each one of us. Thank you.